Hey guys, Banana Luck here and welcome back to another Watch Your Realms video. We are back with this weekend's banner and quite surprisingly we are getting a rerun of the Halloween Anai 15x event and it's only taking place one day. It's really odd how they are doing this one day banners pretty often now but this banner is going to be a skip for most people if you already got Halloween last time around. Uh, honestly, Halloween is a great hero, uh, especially for that passive rate regen, which is what everyone is looking for. If you have this maxed out, you're going to be regenerating 1% rage uh, per second, which is a lot. So, in content such as like Gear Dungeon uh, Stage 6, which a lot of people struggled with without Halloween, uh, she really comes in clutch there. And also just generic campaign clearance. Uh, all of those areas are where she really shines because of that rich regen and that uh, global wood elf that you can place down anywhere. So that comes especially handy in Void Rift if the other side of the... So you normally have Brokia as one of the tanks and then the wood elf to actually support or like who's not as strong of a tank compared to Brokia. And she's great for the healing codex as well obviously with the dispel. Uh, She's one of the few heroes with this spell other than Midan, herself, and Eunomia. So Eunomia is probably the rarest out of all of the dispel units that you can get. So she works great there. And if you get her to A3, every basic attack kill that she does is a 20% chance to dispel debuffs. Which is great for the healing immortal codex because that way you don't actually have to rely on her ultimate. So yeah, obviously if you don't have Halloween, this is a good banner to go for. Uh, it's one of the rare chances that you can actually get her. But she's also paired up with Anai, which uh, I wouldn't say is bad of a hero, but she's not too great either. We haven't really taken a look at her kit before, but my understanding is that she does uh, lots of burning effect. So she shines especially well during the Boris Immortal Codex, which is coming out just in station. So you can see just right off from her talent, each basic attack has a 20% chance to inflict burning and she does 15% more damage to targets inflicted by burning. Her basic attack is pretty straightforward, just 120% magic damage and then her first passive, every time the burning inflicted by the hero deals damage, there's a 10% chance to restore 0.8% rage. So this goes up to 15% and a 1% rage restoration, which that gives her more ultimate uptime basically. And last passive, for every one burning on the target, increases her attack by 1% and crit damage by 3, stacking up to 7 times. And this crit damage goes up to 5% and attack goes up to 3%. So this means 21% attack and 35% crit damage basically. So pretty simple kit onto our ultimate, triggers automatically uh, when there are enemies in range, increases her damage by 20% and deals 25% damage to one target in a range 4 times, inflicting 4 stacks of burning on them immediately. And during this ultimate effect, she continuously refreshes every uh, burning that she inflicts on the, on the enemy. So. This is the very reason why she's great for the Boris Immortal Codex. Because burning is one of the effects where you know it can stack up as compared to poison. So that's why she shines really well there. You can see the rich cap on this ultimate is pretty low, 500. So you're gonna get this off pretty often. And awakenings wise, I haven't heard really great things about that. Uh, so magic resistance reduction, that's normal. 300 attack. Every time the burning on the target deals damage, hero gains 1% damage in case up to 30, and this lasts for 10 seconds after it reaches the upper limit and will reset after the duration. So it probably syncs quite well with her ultimate. A4 is just higher crit rate, easier to build her, and the chance of basic attack applying burning increases by 10%, duration increases by 2. So She's not really going to work out uh, when it comes to generic content. I don't think there's anywhere that you really need her. But if you talk about the Boris Codex, or you talk about pairing her with something like Slokadens, then Anai works really well. But beyond that, 
uh, it's not really the hero that you'll be gunning for in this banner. Obviously, Elowen is the one that you prefer to go to. And bear in mind, this is not 2x event. So that means that, you know, uh, legendary drop rates are still the same. If you're a new player, it's really much better off for you to go with the crazy invocation of spirits because that gives you two times the chance to actually hit a legendary if you're lucky. If you're not lucky and you always hit PD like me, then that's not really going to matter for you. So on top of that, there's one more event going on at the same time, and that's the Surprise Invocation of Spirits, which is the 1 plus 1 event. Uh, something that I'll likely go for this weekend. Uh, we haven't had this for a while, and I skipped the last, I think, one or two 1 plus 1s, because they haven't been great. But, um, I think, yeah, it's probably, I think, resources-wise, we'll probably get CC gems this weekend, so... Probably have enough to go on PD and yeah, I think it just doesn't hurt to go for this one plus one, see where our luck brings us. So to sum it all up, uh, if you don't have Halloween, obviously go for her on this banner, try for her, uh, worth a shot because she's really great and really wouldn't know whether there's any future content that you know, her Wood Elves and Rage Regen will come in handy. But if, let's say you already have her, uh, I think it's a skip because you only need her A0 for her to really shine. Uh, surprise invocation of spirits probably work better for the older, more experienced players. But if you're new, then obviously go for this. But if, let's say you're 110 in PD, then that's different. You should go for the 1 plus 1 then. Because 110 summons will net you 2 heroes. Don't go for the invocation of crazy invocation of spirits unless your PD is below 100. In that case, then you can probably summon on this banner. If you don't get any legendaries by 110 summons in, then you switch over to the 1 plus 1. Which obviously only takes place on Saturday, so you may have to wait for a day before you continue summoning. And also remember not to mix up the banners, because uh, the past few 1 plus 1s, I think lots of players have accidentally switched to the Crazy Invocation of Spirits instead, and exercised their PD there, which lost them out on their 1 plus 1. Yeah, that's going to be it for the video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it down in the comment section below. But beyond that, good luck in your summoning. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.